Hey there, Nick Genetakis here. In this video, we're going to go over saving and restoring TMUX sessions, even across reboots, using a TMUX plugin called TMUX Resurrect. So we all know how great TMUX is, right, when it comes to having sessions and windows and panes and specific layouts. You can detach from your TMUX session, close your terminal, open it up, attach to it, and it's like you never left, and life is amazing. And that is fantastic for working on maybe like a long-running server or something like that. But on a desktop machine, you might be rebooting every once in a while, and out of the box, you are going to lose all of your sessions and all of your Windows state every time you reboot because TMUX out of the box has no way to deal with that, right? It doesn't persist these sessions or layouts to disk. And that's kind of where TMUX Resurrect comes into play because this plugin allows you to hit uh, some hotkeys here to save and restore your TMUX sessions and all your layouts and stuff like that. So that all you have to do, like let's say you're going to reboot, you just need to hit a hotkey to save your sessions to disk. TMUX Resurrect is going to write those uh, out to a specific format in a certain file. Then when you reboot and come back, you can just launch a brand new TMUX server, and then you can just hit another hotkey to restore your sessions from that file on disk, and you're good to go. And you know, when you're using TMUX Resurrect, you don't even need to worry about that specific file on disk or whatever. It's all abstracted away from you. You just need to remember to save and restore your sessions. So in this video, we're going to go over installing TMUX Resurrect, as well as going over, you know, just playing around in the terminal using it so you can see how it works. So let's begin here. And by the way, we're going to look at a couple of different repos, TMUX Resurrect, TPM, which is a plugin manager for TMUX, as well as my dot files here, specifically my tmux config. So I'm going to link all these things in the description when we get there, so don't worry about that. But let's start with installing uh, tmux resurrect. And it says like you should probably install this using tpm, which is the official tmux plugin manager. So before we install tmux resurrect, let's focus on installing tpm, which is a very painless process here. So that's what this repo is here. Pretty popular. You know, this is the place to go here to install tmux plugins. Now, Installation instructions, very, very easy. This will work on, uh, you know, if you're using WSL2, Mac OS, Linux, et cetera. All you need to really do here is git clone the repo down to a .tmux directory in your home directory. And then that is basically it. So you might wanna pause the video for a second and do that now. And by the way, also in my tmux config here at the bottom, you know, I have these steps all streamlined here. So you don't need to jump around between different repos to install certain things. So that same step one here to get clone things to the .tmux directory, that's already set to go here. But let's use the official documentation just for now. So going back to tpm's docs here, it also says that you need to add some stuff here to the bottom of your tmux config file. So let's do that here. Here is my tmux config. Of course, I already have all the stuff installed, but if we jump back over to their docs here, it basically says, that you know we need to install tpm itself as a plugin okay so let's copy that line here i already pasted it into my config because it's already available uh, there's tmux resurrect don't worry about that just yet because let's you know uh, worry about installing resurrect after we get tpm set up to work you know yank totally separate that is for you know yanking things to the clipboard but whatever uh, we can also ignore this for now but going back to their docs here you know they're basically doing the same thing right just install a couple of different uh, plugins in the case in, in their case they have tmux sensible i don't have that installed honestly don't even know what it does but not important uh, the important part is down here it says keep this line at the very bottom of your tmux config here where i guess it just references some directory or you know run some script in tmux config here not really sure implementation details but the readme says to do it so i did it as well down here so once you have all those things set up like basically you know just having this line here and this line here and you've already git clone things then you can reload tmux and if you happen to be using my dat files I have that set up to where you can do prefix R to basically reload your tmux config. And then it says after that, you know, step three is you can launch tmux and then hit uh, your prefix key capital I, which I believe is in the instructions here somewhere as well. Uh, yeah, it just says here, if you do prefix capital I, that's going to basically fetch all the plugins that you have, right? You know, if you were using plug with Vim or something like that, it's very similar to running like a plug install, right? The I is for install. And we can see here that is under installing plugins. But uh, yeah, so now that we have TPM totally set up, all good to go. Now let's go over how to install TMUX Resurrect. And once we have TPM installed, it is really, really easy because all we have to do is drop this line into our TMUX config file, which I have over here, and then you're good to go. So you can also optionally configure certain things with tmux resurrect honestly i don't really use vim sessions anymore but that is one feature of tmux resurrect where if you are a heavy user of vim sessions then tmux resurrect will hook into that and uh, it'll actually restore your vim sessions as well which is uh, pretty nice and i'm sure there's other options in here as well if you go to like the documentation or whatever uh, but those are really the options i use in my day-to-day -day when it comes to tmux resurrect right write the sessions to disk and restore them and that is it also you know if you really 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 were against using 
using TPM. Uh, you can also do a manual install here and you know set all that up here. But uh, you know if you're using TMUX in your day to day, might as well install TPM and uh, that's it. So you know going back to all this at the very bottom of my TMUX config file, this is all you need here to get everything good to go. You can technically skip the Yank plugin here, maybe this setting as well if you're not using Vim sessions. So now that we have everything installed, you know let's play around a little bit with TMUX Resurrect. So I have an empty terminal here. TMUX itself is actually not even running. We can see here there's no service running. So let me just start up TMUX here and you know maybe I'll just open uh, three windows here and uh, maybe split this this way, open up another window, why not? Let's split this bottom this way, okay, cool. And then maybe I'll just launch a new terminal. And by the way, you know, I'm, I'm gl glancing over basics here and like how to open up windows with Tmux and stuff. This is not gonna be an introduction video to Tmux, but it's more just, you know, focusing on Tmux Resurrect. So let me just uh, create a new session here from within Tmux here, and I'll just call this session hello. And we can see here, we just have one window on the bottom. Let's open like three more here. Let's jump back to the first one. I'll just like, you know, again, just make a quadrant of windows here. And, you know, if I bring up my session list here, you know, I can jump between these things here. You know, I didn't name the first one, not important. But you can see here, though, that I do have two totally different sessions running. Uh, maybe I should make these a little different. So let me close out some of these windows here. And we can see, that, you know, there's two windows here and there's four windows here, or three windows here. And everything is set up and good to go, right? And the cool thing about Tmux, and again, we haven't even touched uh, Tmux Resurrect yet, is if I hit my uh, prefix D here, I'm going to detach from that, right? I can shut my terminal down. I can reopen it. Uh, but we can see this time when I run Tmux LS, like, you know, I, I do have things running here. So now what I can do is I can just do Tmux A, which is going to attach to my last session. That's something I do all, all the time. You know, technically you don't need to do that to attach to the last one. You can always attach to a specific one, but not important for this video. But we can see we are back to where we were, right? Tmux Resurrect, again, hasn't been used yet. This is just normal Tmux behavior. So now I can switch to a different thing, do whatever I need to do, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is where Tmux Resurrect comes into play. Because if you do a Tmux kill server, here and I do another Tmux LS. Notice how you know there is no longer a Tmux session running, and you know this is basically the behavior of what would happen if you were to reboot your box, right? So you know instead of rebooting or instead of running kill server here, rebooting your box, when you come back, you're gonna you know if you ran a Tmux LS, you're gonna see there's no server running. So like if I try to attach to the last session here, it's gonna be like, well, nope, Nick, not gonna happen today because there are no sessions. So let's just say I run a brand new session here and I look at my session list and it's like, ah, oh, everything is totally gone. Like what do I do? So now let me just, uh, I guess, make some more windows here because uh, I actually didn't save them with Tmux uh, Resurrect before because that's one really important thing. You actually do need to explicitly hit a hotkey to save your sessions to in order to uh, restore from them. So let me just open up a new session here, just like we did before. I'll name this one hello or whatever. And then we have a couple of windows. Great, doesn't really matter, right? We have two of them in this case and then the other one's up here. But now that we have this uh, layout set up, you can just do, uh, Leader control S, which is going to save your Tmux resurrect. You can see it, you know, jump there in the bottom. Let me do it again. There we go. Saving Tmux environment saved. Great. Very cool. So now I can detach from Tmux like this. And uh, I mean, you could technically restore right away. You don't need to like kill the server to be able to restore. But, you know, I'm going to do the same workflow as before here where we kill the server and then I do a Tmux LS and we can see no server running at all, right? But I can launch Tmux here and then do uh, prefix control R, which is going to restore the Tmux session, and we can see there's our quadrant of windows here. And if I, you know, open up uh, the session list here, I can jump over to the whole one that had two windows here. Everything is how they are exactly sized up, and it's really, really nice, right? Like, this is such a nice thing because, especially if you're on Windows like me, I happen to be using WSL2 here, you know, Windows is Windows, right? It's like, hey, by the way, I'm going to update your machine tonight, and mm, too bad, right? So it's like I end up rebooting, I don't know, maybe like at least once a month, basically due to automated updates and stuff. But yeah, having my sessions restored and saved at Tmux Resurrect really saves me a lot of time because in practice, you know, I'm usually running like six or seven different sessions and a lot of these have multiple windows and panes that are set up how I'd like. So it is really nice to have all of that all set up for you and that's all you have to do. So that is basically Tmux Resurrect. If you plan to use it, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other questions about how it works, more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, with that said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.